Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are taking a look on this deep review for the rebrand skins for your smartphone. So, I have used OnePlus 3 to test that screen here, and it's almost two months I have used now. And prior to that, I was using Skinova skin cases on the gadget seal. That was too nice here. Both have different kind of design. They are, I guess, they internally using 3M materials. And in terms of materials, they are very durable, not an issue here. But uh, it's almost has said two months now. So we'll be doing things like uh, we will be removing the skin from here and we'll see does it leave any mark and actually a lot of users have asked comments me when you remove your skin say does it leave any marks because uh, people have tendency like your skin sticks so fast to your phone like uh, it's gonna leave permanent marks so we will take a look on here and when we removed our skin over skin cases so it doesn't leave any mark except a few glue, glue stuffs that you easily wipe off with a you know wet towel or microfiber towel we will try to do the same stuff here and uh, also, I have some stuff too. I'm just working on these are uh, Rhino Shield uh, bumper cases and scratch protector. I'm just working on that one. So I have for test for Nexus 6 p and Plus 3. So I will, we will do this drop test like dropping from the head height, you know, waist height. We will see whether this case really survives the phone or not. So first, we will take a look on how does the phone skins looks like and uh, when we remove that, how does it work on? So let's go and check that out. So here is the phone. First, we will take a look what happens in two months. So as you can see, and uh, there is no issues in terms of fitting that. It's very very uh, solid glue. So all the stuffs are like same here. Yeah, it's not even you know like they're peeling off from the ends here. And as you can see, everything is completely intact. And yeah, one thing happened as mentioned here. My phone was in one plus three customer here. So they did try to you know remove it a bit here. You can see there's a screw mark here. Actually, there are a couple of screws here. So they just you know uh, take a bit out here the skin and this uh, unscrew that and again they put it back the skin. So the glue wise is very hard and very you know very rigid. When I found the phone back again, it was completely removed. I just you know applied some pressure here and put the phone back here, and it's working pretty much fine. Now it's completely visible here, and there is no such like it's completely bitting coming out here, and it looks nice and the shining is completely okay. There is no such issues here. Sometimes I did found as you can see this part is a you know a bit if you don't apply it properly and you might gonna see this kind of situation when it is coming out so you don't need to worry about it and just use your you know nails and all and just keep it that way otherwise if you are using any uh, milky skin cases here like i do have here for this so it's gonna protect completely there's no such issues here as you can see it's gonna fine here not a problem here so now we will try to remove the skin here and we'll see uh, does it happen anything else enough so i'm just gonna uh, power off my phone first here then it's always better to power off the phone because accidentally you might felt any vibration at all so it has been removed so guys i have not checked any video and it's first time i'm removing d band here prior to that i was removing this you know, it was so tough here to remove that but now we'll try to do the same so i will start from here you know from the point here where it's uh, sticking to the phone here yeah? then we will see like uh, how things are going on so try to remove in the same way you have applied so that uh, it sticks to the phone in the same way as you can see now we're gonna remove it from that way here so this is how it goes so you can see it cracks breaks from here and uh, i guess there's no pretty standard way to remove that one these are the only ways so i did not find any glues here on the phone looks great as you can see there is no such mark here so that's how you do that and try to remove from all the edges first so that it's more important either way uh, the skin is going to waste so i will keep that as a souvenir so this is how it's removed from here foams here so this is how it came here pieces are coming out now center part is you know very tough you got a lot of glues here and uh, yeah pretty much it you can remove there's no glues at all it looks nice it's very tough so you know, after so long time i'm seeing my phone naked i always have skins on my phone so it's gonna waste yeah that's why I said start from each angle so that you know it's easy to remove. Each thing comes to center, then you can easily you know apply pressure and remove from there. So the toughest part is remove from this side here. Oh my god. 
come on come on and i'm gonna leave this one plus it's nice <laughs> looks great all right so we removed everything else and yeah i did uh, notice that there is no glue at all even when i removed this chroma i found a bit of there in the center wise uh, it has something but it leaves nothing at all it's perfectly fine so how does it look like the phone it has simple one plus here so that's it guys a review for the d brand so it's very nice skin you can definitely apply that and that's how you will get that when you remove that so pretty junk material as uh, glues are still very hard so I really like D brand. I'm going to order it soon. I already have a couple of ones. Actually, I just need to apply the bumper cases. And without having skins, you cannot apply that. So very nice skin. Uh, definitely recommend it. Go ahead and apply that. This is startup. Hope you guys find this day helpful. I'll talk to you very soon.